Now this is one of my favorite microorganisms and we're looking at this one at 250 power. Anytime you see a organism looks like this, it's a blob and it doesn't seem to have any corners to it. It's not round, it's not a uh, triangle, it's not rectangle. It's just like a blob, a spill. Generally that's probably going to be a, a, an amoeba, an amoeba, which is a single cell organism. Does it with single cell, so it has all the parts of the single cell, and it's very interesting. It takes on all types of shapes um, in, in weird ways. Again, it's kind of like something something that's been spilled. It can go in any direction, um, and so that's one of the things I, I really like about it. To the left here is a uh, kind of a yellowish green uh, diatom, looks like so. But we'll look at this one a little bit, and you'll see it. See the inside, the cytoplasm inside the cell, and the, the granules, and the organelles, and um, various things inside here are, are moving, kind of cascading down. And we'll look at it a little bit closer with different, different light here. But they move by extending and retracting what's called the pseudopods. And, Amoebas do not form a single cell taxonomic group. Instead, they are found in every major lineage of eukaryotic organisms. So, in this right here, we're looking at uh, at this at a thousand power, and we changed our filter a little bit. And you can see this kind of grainy, with like, like sand, reminds me of sand in the hourglass moving because it'll move in one direction, then it'll move a totally different direction, and it just goes back and forth, back and forth. And that's how it moves, kind of like a snail. The snail moves forward with his head, and then he pulls the rest of his body with him. And so amoebas are like that too. They move in one direction, and they pull the rest of their body with them in just a slow fashion. Now here's a uh, picture of the ostracod ostracod and these are half shell type uh, organisms here and one thing about them they are asexual which means they're all female pretty much they don't have to have a partner to reproduce and that's another thing interesting they live about two years uh, or can and look at the hair around this ostracod here which is the silic hair which propels them through the water very quickly and notice the main hair in the front of it here. Uh, looks like an eyelash. It's just beautifully done. Now, that's his leg right there that he's moving on this algae, and that's the kind of the golden parts of algae around him. And he's a crustacea, too. And uh, sometimes they call them uh, a shrimp. That is a seed shrimp. And some say there are over 13,000 different species of these. So they are uh, pretty amazing organisms here. And you see uh, the legs right there. They, their shell opens in, you know, kind of in half. It's, some are biluminous too, so that uh, they glow in the dark. And um, some of these uh, different types of ostracods can can uh, carry water in their shell and they can walk across the ground. But I thought this was an exceptionally uh, pretty ostracod here, which uh, the coloration and all. And this is dark field filter on my microscope here, which gives us uh, this color right here. And of course, editing a little bit, but just a, a beautiful ostracod here. And this came from uh, pond water, so. Uh, you, you can find it. Pond water has so many organisms, and all my videos so far have been from pond water, basically. Now, here's one of my favorite microorganisms, the stentor. Stentor. And there are different species of the stentor, but they look like a trumpet. And so that makes them very easily uh, to distinguish from uh, many other types of microorganisms. And they have this uh, cilia hairs at the end of it here that spin around creating a vortex uh, and it sucks in you can see the little particles being sucked in here uh, as it spirals the water like water going down the drain see that 
and so that's another amazing thing about them and those silly hairs there help them to uh, swim too and they will shrink down like he's shrinking down right here uh, and then close up especially if something startles them or something happens uh, this is one of the uh, prettiest type organisms out there to me too see how fast he is he can just disappear in a second he's just contracting into a kind of like a ball or an oblong shape and then he comes right back you start to see him maybe there uh, starting to come back and these are some of the longest single cell organisms single cell that's all that is and he can stretch out over two millimeters sometimes uh, they can get that large to be a uh, single cell which is pretty amazing and they reproduce asexually so they don't need you know a partner to reproduce and that's another amazing quality about them and that's called binary fission so uh, you see how they move they can move just about any direction they want to move and so that's another thing about them uh, So you'll find them just about anywhere, and, and, and this is uh, pond water with, uh, with algae, and this golden part right here under the black filter is uh, algae. So uh, the black or dark field, we call it dark field. Now look at that. That's a rotifer. A rotifer swam too close to him and got stuck there for a second, and you'll see the rotifer come out. That rotifer is too big. There goes the rotifer. Uh, he's too big to be swallowed by uh, the stenter. And there goes the rotifer again. So that was just a total accident there for the, uh, the stenter. But he just kind of contracted when that happened and uh, kind of spit out the uh, rotifer. Now, if you look carefully there at the bottom there of the front of the mouth of the stinner is a small organism there that he is trapped and he can't get out because he's creating that vortex sucking him in and he just kind of hangs there but again there's a lot you can say about stenters and uh, they're pretty amazing right here you see two stenters you can see several of them together in different places right above them is a Cynodespis, which is a microorganism, and to the right is a silicate. It's very pretty. So it looks like they're trying to eat that Cynodespis. The beautiful world of pond water.